Hey guys, welcome to RevMax Mastermind. It's Ryan Gray here. I want to go through how to set up a app install campaign on AdWords. Uh, for some reason, this process um, kind of confuses people that are just getting started. And I think the big thing is um, the tracking template kind of messes with people. They're not sure how to insert that. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And for this app install campaign, this is going to be for Android. So let's get started. Um, the first thing we want to do here is this is offer 317 inside of RevMax. So what I like to do is um, set this up kind of similar in my iMobi tracks because that's obviously what I use to track my campaigns. So I'll type in AliExpress uh, CPI Android and um, I can give it a group if I want to. I'm not going to for this example. And then I'm going to select my um, traffic sources AdWords. Next I got to put in a, a default CPC. Um, I like to put in whatever I, I start bidding. Sometimes it's really high, so a lot of times I'll just go at 25 cents just to get things started. Sometimes I'll go even higher than that so I can get a really good CTR and find out what's going to work and what's not. Um, app install campaign, you want to set up as a direct link. Of course, you want to keep it active. If you want to do any um, blocking or meta refreshing, you can. I mean, I really don't recommend it because it just adds another loop into things. When you're trying to get them to install the app, you want them to come as quickly off your add into the app and not um, do any meta refresh or anything. So I don't recommend doing that um, for app installs. So we're going to click yes for tokens because these variables are going to provide you with the information you need to optimize your campaign. And these are specific for AdWords. Um, and if you don't have these added, then you just need to Google AdWords um, tracking macros or tracking tokens and they'll, you know, they'll come up. Um, but they're in the AdWords help files or you can use them from this demo. Um, this value is what you need because this macro is going to be replaced with um, what they call it. The perimeter name can be called anything that you want it to be called other than C. You cannot use C as in campaign because we use that for campaign. Um, but you could use C1, but you just can't use C by itself. And um, so I like just to, I use these here. It doesn't matter though, other than C. Um, and then these are what is going to be called in your report. So ad group, target ID, creative, keyword placement, and target. Pretty straightforward. And again, these are very important for app install campaigns because that's going to be the information you're going to use to optimize your campaign. Without it, um, you're just really optimizing your banners. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to leave this default to add the sub ID to the end of the URL. And now it's time for us to put the app in here. So what I like to do here is I just copy and paste the same title into my Mobi tracks. Uh, just so I can, I know I'm on RevMax, and then I would select RevMax from the AF network. But um, I do this, so if, if it, I need to change it, I know what I'm running and all that stuff. Okay, the URL is quite simple, but um, you're going to click here, and you want to just generate a sub ID. So I just type some text in here just so I can see this. You only want this um, before the equal sign is what you want. And copy it, take it over here, and paste it. You can enter the payout or you can post that back if you want. Boom, create campaign. All right, now our campaign is created. So we can now go over to um, AdWords and set this up. So on our screen, screen is um, display network only campaign. And uh, I'm going to give it a marketing objective, and that's going to be to install um, our mobile app. And I've got to tell them what um, I want it to download. So I have to actually have the package number. And um, you can get this for a few places. If you click preview, um, you can see this is the package name for Android. It's always going to be after the ID equals. Um, for iOS, it's going to be a um, numeric value. So you'd want to select that numeric value. But I'll go here and select my app. I'll select my package, add new app. You have to look it up. Boom, and boom, choose. Okay, so now Google knows what you're going to be promoting. Now this is your campaign name. A lot of times I'll just call this the same thing that I call it in my Mobi tracks, AliExpress CPI Android, just to keep it simple. Just so I know when I log into AdWords that this is a campaign that's in my Mobi tracks. And sometimes I'll even put the name. Now this is a demo on Mobi tracks. It's only got six campaigns in it. Um, but sometimes I have a lot more than six in an iMobi tracks install. So I'll put the, sometimes put the number on it, um, like camp six. And that way, the optimized one might be campaign 10. And so I know, you know, which is different here. Now, next is our operating systems. Now, in the mastermind, we talk a lot about this, about using um, specific operating systems to um, optimize. And what you'll find is the newer ones convert better because the people that have the up-to-date software on their phones, um, 
their devices have more space. They're not already loaded up with apps. They're not old um, and they're running a lot quicker. So a lot of times I will select, you know, at least go from four on up and then, you know, you can look at your data. But I, I like to do that. I don't like to target low end devices because a lot of times it just yields bad quality anyways. Device models, if you want, you can def- you can choose that. You know, we know um, historically Samsung always works a, a lot better for Android just because of the high-end device that they are. But we can just choose all, especially if we're going to do United States. Um, we can just choose all because United States has pretty much a high-end phone market. Carriers and Wi-Fi, um, they both work quite well, especially in the United States, because the carriers nowadays are so fast. I mean, really, my Verizon service works just as fast as my Wi-Fi. I really can't tell a difference. And actually, sometimes I'll be in parts of my house where the Wi-Fi isn't reaching, and I'll turn it off so I can use Verizon because it's faster. So you can just do all and then optimize, optimize based on that. Okay, we're not going to do target CPA. And um, the reason being is setting up the AdWords conversion pixel as an affiliate marketer is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I've seen instances where we've got it to work, but a lot of times it doesn't because you actually need to insert the SDK into the app for it to be really effective. Um, so using like the third party post back and stuff and I'm OB tracks. Yeah, I just, and plus I, me personally, I don't like to give the traffic source my information. I don't like them to know what's converting and what's not so they can give it to someone else or they can steal the campaign themselves. I don't know. Call me paranoid. So I just going to do manual CPC. That's what I do is I, um, I manually bid on my stuff. All right, you want to have an opening budget, so uh, let's just say 25 for, to get the campaign started. Um, if you've got a high budget, I mean, sometimes I'll do 100 or whatnot. So for this campaign, we can go back and look. This one here only accepts the United States, so we're not going to have Canada on there. Okay. And next, there's a couple of different advanced options. We can save and continue, but we can do the advanced options. Um, we're not going to, this since this is going to be our our test campaign. But once you start finding winners, you want to definitely add your scheduling because you'll notice that different days of the week, different hours of the day convert differently. So after you gather enough data for a week or two, then you can set up your advanced scheduling and only run when your campaign is going to convert. And AdWords won't penalize you for using that. Um, You're probably going to lose momentum on the campaign, uh, pausing and starting it versus using this. So when you find out what's working, either add this into your campaign or create a fresh campaign and have that day parting added. Next is the um, ad delivery. Um, We do want to optimize for clicks, but... This is uh, this is a way they'll get you, guys and gals. Now, those of you that are inexperienced probably already have this set to know, and please don't do that. Set a frequency cap. If someone sees your imp- your ad twice and they don't click it, there's no need to, for them to keep seeing it again because it's going to dr- drive down your CTR. Um, you know, so keep it by two um, per day, and then we can do per ad group. We could do per ad or per ad group. Let's just keep it per ad group. That's what I normally will do. Um, because please, you know, if you if you go any further than two, three's pushing it. But really, after that, four by 24, if someone sees your ad three times and they haven't clicked on it, what makes you think the fourth time they're going to click on it? And that's only going to drive down your CTR, which is going to make your traffic more expensive. We don't want that. Showing all content. Um, starting out, we can. Now, this is where we would add our tracking template in. Um, so we can add this in now or we can wait. Um I typically like to do this on my when I upload my ads. I like to add my tracking template. So I'm just going to wait on this, and then I'll, I'll describe this as we create the ads, and I'll show you why. So save and continue. Okay, now we are at the um, the ad, ad group creation point. And so what I like to do is, remember when we talked about these tokens in iMobi Tracks? For the example being um, the um, target ID here, or the ad group rather. When you, this is going to return a number inside your iMobi tracks. And so it doesn't really give you as much detail as we'd like because it doesn't give you anything specific. So I like to call this ad group whatever I'm targeting. So whatever I'm going to target, I'm going to name this ad group. And this way I can optimize by it because it's been very important. So this being AliExpress, we're going to do um, remarketing. Remar- we'll just type in remarket shopping. And we'll just keep our bid at 25 cents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use interest in remarketing for this one. And this is people that have these type of apps already installed. So we're going to go down to shopping and add that. Okay, so you can see there's tons of volume here. Tons of volume. So this is, is this, this uses a retargeting. It's going to target users that already have a app from the shopping category. 
Now, of course, we want multiple ad groups. This is just the first one. Um, other ones may be placements. Maybe we have specific placements and we can select those. We would select that. Um, and then there's other kind of targeting we can add. Um, but this is installed app categories. And, and you can go to new mobile devices, all kinds of stuff, even your own remarketing list if you have them. But um, this is definitely one of the first categories you should do because most likely if someone already has a shopping app, then, you know, more chances are they'll probably want another one. Uh, same thing with games. You know, if someone has one type of solitaire on their phone, a lot of times they want to go download another one, especially if it's cooler, especially if it's better. So um, that really works out well. And AdWords is so many cookies set. It just, it's one really nice way to help you target your audience. But the thing is, I like to just select one of these here because, I mean, that's obviously enough volume and name it this so I can keep track of things. Because if I start throwing in a bunch of these categories, man, when that traffic comes hot and heavy, I'm not going to really know how to optimize. So I'm just going to keep that one. And um, you can go down further um, going into placements and demographics and all that stuff, but I don't like to get into that type of stuff until I see what's going to work and what's not. So I'd save and continue. Okay, next, this is the difficult part for some people, and I'm not really sure why, but um, this is you create your ads. So there's a couple different ones. Um, the first is an app install ad, and this is just the default Google app install ad. Cool thing about this is you don't have to upload anything. You can see the image is optional. If not, it's just going to use this. So here you can type in your headline and description. What I'll do is an app installs most of the time. They're really, really strict on what they allow. So I'll go look at these approved banners that they've provided, and I'll, I'll write a headline based off this. So ultimate shopping experience. Um, so you can do stuff like save now. The ultimate shopping experience. Tap to download and save. You do stuff like that and you can see it's going to make your image or your, your ads going to look like this. And then it's going to format like this. So you can see that your your text doesn't really play a huge role into the um, actually seeing it, but um, nonetheless, that's that's the easiest way to do it. Now, here's what gets everyone is the tracking template, and this is why I wanted to do this on the creative level. So what you want to do is go over here to your iMobi tracks and grab your campaign link. This bad boy. This is going to be your tracking template. So we throw that in there. Okay. Now what you want to do is click test. You want to select the ad group and see that this is a bug in AdWords. It doesn't have an ad group selected since it's a new campaign. So it's not going to tell you if it found it or not. But basically you want to make sure that this URL matches this URL. Okay. So we can look at the preview link or what I like to do is it pulled this from the actual campaign. So what we do in iMobi track, so we go back over here and we're going to notice if we click this link, if we test this campaign in RevMax, it's not going to work in our browser because we're on a browser. So Google goes and seeing that they're going to get mad because they're going to think you're doing something shady. Well, you're not. You're just trying to promote this app install. So go back to our Mobi tracks and type in Google. And you see it's already pre-popped from where I do this a lot. Platform is not equal to Android, the single Android, and link. Send it to this. You're going to send it to the preview URL. update campaign. Now, when you go to your tracking link now and test the link, you should see the AliExpress. If not, and the Google guy, Google team goes to review your ad and they can't see it, you know, they're going to think you're up to something shady and they're going to deny the campaign. So once you get a couple of these created, and like I said, this is a bug. It's really annoying they have this in their system. There should be a, when you get this going, there's a, um, the ad groups right here. But since we just created the ad group, it can't find it. So you want to go back in there and make sure you test because it'll tell you if it found it or not. It's got to make sure that it ends up at this URL, the final URL. But this is all you add. This is the tracking link that you're going to use so you, so you get credit for your conversions. So we, all we do here is click um, Save Ads. And, um, and that's it. Now, it's going to ask you to set up um, conversion tracking. 
which like I said, if you want to try to go through that and get to work, um, go have at it. Um, I'm not going to cover it because I don't use it. Don't, I don't, I don't care if it is Google or whatever traffic source. Um, you know, all I need is, um, for one account manager to see me crushing a campaign. And then all of a sudden my campaign mysteriously, mysteriously disappears. Call me a conspiracy theorist. It's just kind of how I feel about it. Um, so that's pretty much the process behind it though. Um, if you wanted to use the approved banners, which is what I do recommend doing, especially at um, RevMax, is you download this pack and instead of doing the regular app install ad, you would actually upload these in the same tracking template type deal. And um, you would just target placements that, that have these sizes. If there's other sizes you need, you can rename the approved creatives. Um, it's pretty fast, simple, and easy. Um, the app install ads are really good, but sometimes Google gets um, a little hesitant to approve those if you don't actually own the app, if you're an affiliate or an agency. Sometimes you actually have to reach out to their support, which is surprisingly pretty good for app install campaign people. You know, if you're spending um, a considerable amount or if you're spending just a little bit there, you know, they pay attention. They'll call you back. You can get a, you can get someone on the phone and they'll help you out. But that's um, that's how it's done. And once you, once you do all those steps there, you can start getting your data and your IMOB tracks and you'll start running. But that's exactly how to set it up. Um, at this point, your um, next hurdle is to get traffic and get it converting and then start optimizing based off those conversions. But that's how you get it set up. If you have any questions, feel free to ask inside of the mastermind. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot of um, coaching here just on the blog. We're going to save that for inside of our mastermind group um, because obviously I don't want to give out um, a whole lot to keep um, competition at bay. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Um, hope this helped you out.